Hey everybody, uh, this your girl, Sister Talk with Valerie, your chocolate smoothie. Let me tell you something, y'all. I need some wine for this segment tonight. This is, this is it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm gonna need some wine for this one, y'all. So, tonight we have a special version of Sister Talk with Valerie because tonight, I keep saying tonight because I feel like it's nighttime. But this afternoon, we have a special segment called He Said, She Said. And the reason why we thought it was important to do this segment is because we're always having conversations about whether or not men and women think differently about different subject matters. So your girl went in search of a brother that could bring it real and that could bring his perspective. Now, let me do a disclaimer. This is our opinion. We know what they say about opinions. Everybody got one. So it's Valerie and my special guest is Mr. J. What's happening? Introduce yourself to the folks, J. What's happening, everybody? It's me. I'm in the building to let y'all know what the man's point of view is. <laughs> but listen, we're going in on this one. <laughs> Let me get a little coffee for y'all. Oh, I'm going home. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I don't think we live yet because I don't see us. First off, you know what it is if you heard Drake. Big and old Bible like a bridge in an earthquake. Two minutes and 48 seconds. We ain't live yet. So we're going to have to do the whole intro over. Okay. How did you like the intro so far? I liked it. Okay. Two minutes and 39. Are you gonna dance? Dog dance. First, I'm going in. Three oh five. That's because we um, it starts at the time like it goes live at exactly 10 minutes before you actually hit the live button and that's why it's a yeah right 303 two more minutes let's see what it says the countdown it's the final countdown <laughs> one minute and 30 and one minute one minute everybody <laughs> you crazy <laughs> So when it gets to one, then it's gonna be 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. <laughs> we could have went by that countdown. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my God. All right. All right. You comfortable? I'm comfy. Remember, we just having a conversation. conversation. Just having a conversation. <laughs> That's all we do. That's it. That's it. You silly. <laughs> 51. 49. 48. 40. I don't even know if people can really see what's happening right now. I don't know. Y'all can see us. <laughs> I don't really know. But we shall find out. We're doing that 305 exact. <laughs> Your music ready? Y'all ready? I'm going to do the intro. You can do the intro. Man, you can do the intro. A 24, a 23, a 22, a 21, 18, 17, 16, 15. Four. We got to wait for the official countdown if y'all can see this. Oh. If y'all can see us, y'all just chilling with us, right? Wait with us. And three, two, two, one. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is your girl, Valerie. With us to talk with Valerie. It is your chocolate smoothie. And we have a special segment of 
Sister Talk with Valerie this afternoon. And let me tell you something, y'all. Like I said earlier, I got a little bit of wine for this segment because I'm too. feeling like I'm feeling like I'm gonna need it. Um, so our segment today is about whether men and women really do see things differently, right? We're gonna have a bunch of hey bro. We're gonna have some conversation and we're gonna have the female perspective and the male perspective. Now, disclaimer. We are not trying to answer questions for everybody in the whole world, every black or woman, man. This is our perspective, and please chime into what your perspective is. But today I have a special guest with me, Mr. J. J, you want to introduce yourself to the audience? What's happening, everybody? It's J to the is up. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Jay. Well, I'm about to go all in. That's all y'all really need to know. <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> We're going to go hard. We're going like, hard. We ain't scared. We are not scared. Y'all sit back and relax for a little bit. All right. So we're going to have a couple of topics. And you guys chime in. Give us your opinion. This is just, again, Jay <laughs> and Val. Sister Talk with Val's opinion. So the first question is, I might need to take my Jesus piece off. <laughs> Lord, oh, forgive me. Oh, wow. Oh, enough. wow. So you mean to tell me that you can't answer the question without your Jesus piece? What that mean? I'm going to leave it on. What that mean? <laughs> it means we don't need it. Question one. All right. When men mm -hmm. see a woman, what's the first thing that they see? And the question for me is, when a woman sees a man, what's the first thing she sees? So we're talking about you walking down the street or you in a whatever, you in a restaurant or however it rolls, and you see this person if you're uh, attracted to the opposite sex or even if you're attracted to the same sex. What's the first thing that stands out for you? I'm going to let you start, and I'm going to take a sip, Mr. J. All right. For me, before I even speak to her, the first thing I see is that body. Yeah, yeah. She could be dumb as hell, but she, she could be dumb as hell. She's I got big booty. I ain't speak That's all it is. That's all that man. I ain't speak to her. Yeah, she's stupid. Shit. But see, once I speak to her, she start coming out of the mouth wrong, then I gotta go. But the first thing I see is her body, her smile, her face, things of that nature. And for me, I'm a breast man, so I'm always looking that way first. No breast women, they out of that spot. <laughs> so, so, so. If the and I'm 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 not trying to debate with you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna answer the question about what I see on a man because okay. we are physical beings, sure. and I and there are certain attractions that I see in a man. I like chocolate men, like dark skinned men. I like height. That's the first thing I see. Mm -hmm. But that's that initial look, right? Sure. Okay. So after the initial look, after they're tall and dark and they and they're handsome in my perspective, then they have to have some kind of mind. Right. They gotta have some intelligence. They can't be talking backwards. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing that you see in a woman? For me, it's always the communication piece. You know, if a woman can't stimulate my mind, I don't give a damn how fine she is or what she got or how her body look. I don't give a damn how good the head is. Well, sorry about that. See, I there you go. I know I can't Because you're a man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <But it's> always, <laughs> this head. This is the head right here. That's it's we talk always the communication part. And so when you say communication, what does that mean? Well, first of all, she can articulate a conversation, you know, outside of sex, outside of um, her knees and all that good stuff. Just to have a nice smooth flow for one. You know, then as the conversation goes on, I look for other things, you know. Um, I like to learn people about people's lives. I like to see if um, she can talk without using profanity after every five seconds, which we will on this right here, y'all. Trust me when I tell you, we're going to get a little deep in this. <laughs> Karima says, exactly, mental stimulation is very important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think mental stimulation is very important. But we saying that, y'all, but let's get to this. So you meet somebody. First, let's say sex on a first date, yes or no? Hell yeah. For a man. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Sex on a first date for women, I'm going to say no. Now, Steve Harvey told us that y'all need to wait three months before y'all get some cookies. Steve ain't wait three months his damn self. So How do you know that. what Steve did? Steve said Steve that wrong. we need to wait three months before y'all get the cookies. 
there's some knowledge to that. Okay, I do respect and salute that, but at the end of the day, I mean, three months, shit, I might not <laughs> even know you in three months. So for me, in my life, you know, I mean, I agree, probably not the first day, you know, but I ain't going too much longer after that. Well, suppose you meet a woman that mm -hmm. you feel like is everything that you're looking for, but she is celibate. Okay. Like, I ain't giving it up because I'm waiting for my husband. True. I have ran across that in my lifetime, and that time I did wait, but um, I learned, you know, that was a big ass mistake because when we did do it, it was um, it wasn't as good as um, I would have made a different decision for me. For me, I ain't saying everybody else, but for me, it wasn't as good as what. It could have been you. Maybe that's why. I would. Maybe it was you. <laughs> you ain't teach her nothing there. Cause <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah, I don't think it was me. Um, you know, she wasn't experienced in that sex world. And I think that that matters. You know what I mean? For real, for real. I don't go too long. You know, if you, I mean, what happens when you're in that full fledged marriage or whatever the case may be, and you recognize that the sex wasn't what you thought it was? Most men, most men. It's going to go out there and look for it and find out, you know, look outside of his relationship, you know. So I do believe that, you know, intimacy early in the game is something that, you know, might be beneficial. It might not, but for me it is. Well, my perspective is that, you know, intimacy, I ain't just talking about sex. Because you can find good sex. You can find somebody that just rocks every boat you got, sure. right? But making love to a person that is your committed partner mm -hmm. it's not about the experience it's about learning each other's bodies it's about having that connection where you, your mind is already stimulated because you didn't start out with sex so your mind is already stimulated so people can be taught like you can you might have had sex with 90 women but that doesn't mean that you know that woman's body that doesn't mean that you know what what makes that woman fulfilled and a lot of times women don't know because a lot of times not all the time but there are women who've never had an orgasm before they don't know what what satisfies them and so when you get with somebody that you are connected with you can explore all of those different aspects of sexuality and intimacy so it can be taught yeah i agree it could be but that'd be after the 90 days <laughs> You know, as you get to know a person, because the key word that you said was, you know, making love. I ain't made a woman yet that um, I love within the 90 days. I love certain things about her, but um, as far as the emotional connection is concerned. Uh, okay, so that's a good sort of segue into why. And again, we're not, I'm making a general statement, but it's not for all men and it's not for all women. Right. Why is it so easy for men to go out here and just you know, bang anything, smash anything that got a little hole, crack a door look good. Why is it so easy for men to do that? And some women feel like you need to have an emotional connection. Well, I think for most men, when we was younger, you know, we ran through them like, you know, nobody's business. Um, but as you got to be a little bit older, a little bit mature, you know what I mean? You tend to not to run from like that on that level. But when it comes to a woman, you know, y'all a little different, you know? Y'all want that whole connection and spending time and all that that goes with it. But not so soon, not so soon. Let that gradually come into it from the male's perspective, you know? How are we supposed to, how are women? Mm -hmm. supposed to feel connected to a man or a woman or whoever their preference is if they don't spend time if they don't develop see women are emotional creatures not all but a lot of women are emotional creatures so we that's why we stay with men that ain't no good that can really knock it out because we've connected with them emotionally mm -hmm. so how are you supposed to develop that if it's just about you know, if you're just trying to, I don't know, take applications. I remember real talk now nowadays. I mean, that sounds good for back in the days, but nowadays, real talk, a lot of women, shit, they want as soon as they meet you. You know, at least in my life, that's what I experienced. You know, I'd be trying to be like, look, little mama, pause for a second. You know, let's get to know each other. But that usually don't come till after you had sex. Majority of the women nowadays want sex as well as men. You know, maybe that's what y'all learned from the little Steve Harvey book. How about that? 
Y'all ain't waiting 90 days no more. So there are no women that... that you now, let me ask you this. Those I, I'm going to say, okay. are those women... I know there are women who are just sexually... Uh, they know their bodies and they're just sexually whatever. But there are women who might be going along with it just because of y'all. I mean, is that... You think that's part of the case? Nah, nah. I think... For real, for real, the majority of the women nowadays, especially on this online stuff, and you know, they want it due to the fact because they want to go out to eat, they want to go some bills paid, they want something done for them. I mean, and man. I'll take it. Take my it my 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 <laughs> <laughs> Because for real, for real, that's what I, that, I mean. Nowadays, that's what you see more of. You don't see, you know, women who really waiting nowadays you know I, I really have it and i went with a couple of dudes and i speak to them and they say basically the same thing you know and y'all know who y'all are out there stop playing but there are women who want to wait well yeah they're, they're out there they are out there i think some women feel the need to satisfy the man they oh that's what he wants so let me give it to him thinking that somehow that's going to keep him but that's it don't but it don't <laughs> no that ain't a lie there are some women just like there's like there's women out there that are sexually expressive. There are women out there that really want. I know a woman right now. I know a woman right now that's waiting for her her, her mate, her Boaz, sure. and would like to be celibate until she finds that man. But every man she meets mm -hmm. comes through the door talking about the cookies. Mm -hmm. That's not that that for guys that really is unattractive if that's what you lead with. Because right. that's like that's all you about. That's all you got. That's all you bring to the table? Well, no, that for the guy, we look at it from the perspective of, damn, little mama, if I got you that fast, then everybody else can you that fast, too. We wasn't that special behind you, you know? So then, you know, for me, I'm going to treat you like you like you presented yourself. Okay, that's a good point. Right. Now, you can see a woman mm -hmm. out there, and she give it up to you. Right. Now, you, 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 you vying for it. Oh, you know, look at that fat booty. Well, let me get it. Right. But then when she give it to you, you, you don't... You don't Next. Then you look at her differently. Next. How, how is a woman supposed to deal with that? Like either you're going to respect, because here's the other thing. Why is that men can be hoes, but if women are out here having sex with different men, then they are thought. You see, I can't let you speak about the brothers like that, because just because they're out there doing their thing, the, the don't make brothers. them hoes. Bro, bro, bro concept, Frank Hatchet you. is on. Come on, defend the brothers. Frank Hatchet, you you and uh Jake can defend the brothers. Y'all know what's true. Y'all be hoes too. Well, I don't think that men are hoes in that perspective due to the fact because they out there dealing with multiple women at different times. If you, if if y'all not in a committed relationship, then that's something different. But hold on though, for the woman, you know, I just look at it as it's too easy. It wasn't anything that you had to work for. And True, you're right. Some women out here um, do wait. You know, um, I can say for one in my lifetime that I ran across that did want to wait until she got married, so she walked away, she talked. It. But majority of the women nowadays, Val, I mean, they just as thirsty and on to the next dude, just like the guys are. If not worse, I'm telling you, it's real. And, it, and, and the thing I recognize, I don't give a damn what spectrum they came from. They could be in the church, you know, they can be married. It don't matter. None of that matters nowadays, you know? I mean, think about the concept of more Povich. They're making money and making a great show because you're getting to see most of these women out here, most. Um, age doesn't matter, you know? They they doing their thing just like the men are, real time. Mm. So what you said, what he sounds like he's saying, ladies, is that respect yourself because brothers ain't respecting you. They feel like, here's the thing, there, the women that you got that you say you see a woman, she fine, she got a fat butt, blah 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 blah. Those are not usually the women that y'all take home to mama, or the women that y'all end up marrying. So why are they the women that you engage? I don't necessarily say that. I mean, you know, sometimes it do turn into a serious relationship. You know what I mean? But um, nine times out of ten, you ain't taking her home to mama because you already know what mama expect to bring home. You know, we learned that early in the game. I mean, having this anybody come up in the crib, and you know that, you know. So, majority of the women of today, you know, now nah, I ain't taking you home to mama. Hell with you. <laughs> wow, wow. Y'all hear that, ladies, right? He could kick it with you. 
He can tell you how fine you are, but and you could be like, Dad, just the one. He think I'm da 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 da. He gets some of the cookies. He is not taking you home to mama. Very rarely is he gonna take you home. It's to mama. very rare. Wow, that's kind of messed up. I just want to say. It's the facts. I mean, you could tell which one to take home to mama by what y'all doing. You know, give you case in point. You made a check, right? And she topped you off the same day. Bitch, I ain't taking you home to mama. Yeah, right. I need a drink. <laughs> we all in. <laughs> all right, since we're on the subject of men and women, and again, audience, Please feel free to give your opinions because mm. these are just opinions of me and Jay. We just going in with me and Jay. This just ain't how everybody else feels. <laughs> so here's the other thing. Dating. Okay. Now for me, this is this is more of an ageism thing than it is a male and female thing. Dating these days looks very different to me. What well, dating look like to you? Well, 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 let me just tell you. Okay. <laughs> what dating used to look like was that you meet a man. He's attracted to you. He says, hey, can I take you out to dinner or a movie? And you go out to dinner or a movie. He picks you up. He opens the door for you. Now, he, what year are we talking about? Don't be funny, okay? <laughs> don't be funny. Right. I'm telling you my experience. He takes you out to dinner right. or a movie. Y'all have some, you know, conversation. He pays for dinner or a movie because he's a dude. Not that I expect him to, but I do respect what he does, right? Okay. And then... You have small conversation. You see whether or not you hit it off or not. And then maybe you have a second date. Hey, let's go to the park. Blah, 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 blah. So you meet him again. Y'all talk on the phone in, in the interim. You get to know things. You ask questions. Right. You spend that time. Da, 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 da. Okay. Most likely you haven't had sex yet, right? Maybe you've kissed on the first date. Some women, some men don't like to kiss on the first date, right? Yeah. And you continue that. For a period of time okay. um, and as you're getting to know that person mm -hmm. right and as you feel more comfortable with who they are maybe you open up maybe you invite him to meet your family later on da, da, da. that's how dating used to look like dating today looks like I F with you shorty what right. is that I don't get that I F with you shorty I don't understand that what is dating like for you all right, well, dating for me is me and you would use the word dating uh, from what you just described as something different. For me, that's just hanging out. Dating for me is once you and that person went through that whole stage of hooking up, hanging out, no sex if that's what y'all doing, you know. Um, you know, I think it's good. You're just dating. I mean, you're just hanging out. That's not dating. Dating is when I say, you know what? You want to be exclusive? And she says she want to be exclusive. And then we're going into another element. But as far as just going out to hang out that day, that ain't no damn dating. I don't care if you go high. Well, what is that? That's just. Please tell me what that is. That's just hanging out. That's hanging out. That she can go sense. see who she want to see, hang out with who she ever want to hang out with. And that's where the problem coming in, in my eyes, Val. Because in my eyes, the woman, she takes it because we hanging out, we talking on the phone, we doing this. You know, that that means that we exclusive. No, the hell it don't. No, it don't. Okay, when does exclusivity happen, though? Uh, help me understand. I just told you. When you, when you both come to an agreement on that, you know what? This is where we want to go to the next level. You know, you're not hollering at nobody. I ain't hollering at nobody. And we just being exclusive one on one. That's the next level. All that other stuff you said, she not exclusive. I could be hitting something. She could be hitting something. I don't care about that. Sure. We just hanging out. <laughs> you feel I care with you. Why? Because I just don't understand that concept. Why not? Because when does it become, when the, how do you determine when it, be, it comes into exclusivity? When you start catching some feelings for her, you know? I, can, I don't have feelings for you because me and you went to the park, we went to the movies because I talked to the, the person. So we out in the morning, well, that don't give me um, saying that I want to date. No, nah, that don't do that for most men. You know, I, mean, I see women, you know, that's how y'all might feel. Because like you said, y'all emotional creatures. But nine times sure. out of ten, she you know, got like five times to you because me and you went to the park. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see if there's comments, y'all. My bad. 
because I don't see us on here. All right. Well, I think that's part of the men are from Mars and women are from Venus thing because exclusivity. See, to me, it's like um, it's like one your cake and eat it too. I think men don't commit because they punks one. And because if they commit, I the punk. I'm just saying, because they punks. Okay. Because if you commitment, like, so now everything is like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. We can call it whatever. Uh -huh. We can be friends with benefits. Uh -huh. We can just have sex if right. we want to. When we, and you could be with somebody. So for example, I've seen people who have been with in a relationship with one person for six months in a year. It does not have a title. Um, and the reason why most of the time it doesn't have a title is because that man doesn't want to give it a title, which means he's free to see other people if he wants to or that? not. And then he could say, well, we, weren't, we ain't had no commitment, so we ain't nobody say what it was, so I'm just doing what I want to. To me, that's the pump. Kind of, that's like, beautiful. That's pump. But, I mean, how are you going to be in a relationship when you don't yet know the person, you know? Or, you know, y'all just hanging out. You can't go and say because you hung out with somebody on a Friday – that next Thursday, you know, we dating. Nah, we just hung out. You know, that's not dating to me. You know, is you there a time to... when it is dating? I mean, is there a time length from your perspective when it when it becomes dating? Like I said a little while ago, yeah, when you start really catching feelings for the person and y'all sit down and y'all discuss this is the path that we want to go down. But just because we hanging out don't mean that we dating. Nah, I don't agree with that. Nah. I can date who I want to date. You can date who you want to date. Oh, that's what it is. You're going out on a date, you know? You ain't going out on a relationship. You're going out on a damn date, you know? The, mm. the whole relationship side comes later on down the road. Okay. I don't even know if I like the chick within six months, you know? I just know I rock out with her. We enjoying ourselves, but I got to see you in a whole nother element. And you don't see that then when you so-called, you know, hanging out. Nah, she bringing her representative then. So, okay, you don't know if you like the chick, right? right. So here's my thing. Because dating is another thing that people seem to shy away from. Sure. So you, you take applications of, I don't know, several different women until you decide that that one woman is worth you giving the title of, this is who I'm dating. That's a nice, cute girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking. I, like that. Um, I wouldn't say applications. I would say, you know, you you intertwine them with people. That's how like because it. you have to find the right person, you know? And you ain't going to find the right person just because y'all hung out two or three times. No, nah, I don't do that. So I call it taking applications because you're still interviewing. Okay. So it is taking applications. I mean, let's, let's I mean... If you go back to the beginning of time, women ain't like Eve. You know, you got the go and you got the Bible says find a good wife. So you have to find that person. If you're dating just that one person, you know, from the way you're looking at it, okay, I went out and I met Susie and me and her dating. Susie might be a goddamn, might see her motherfucking ass on snap on that damn day. You don't know me who the hell, huh? Me too. Well, okay, well, yeah. That's why, that's why you got to get to know the person. You feel me? Exactly. Men too. You know what I mean? These niggas going crazy. I know y'all watching the first 48 like we are. Shit. They going crazy nowadays. But that goes both ways. And that's because the people didn't take the time to really get to know each other. They was booed up right off the bat. Nah, you don't do it like that. You goddamn got to go out here and date a couple people. And if you know. How many? How many? I about? don't know. How many? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should, how many should be in your repertoire? In my life, I think it, for me, it, it's, it's about five that you start out with. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you even see through them. And sometimes you might not find that one in that five. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you got to get five more. Well, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. Mm. You got to keep going. You can't stop. Oh. I don't okay. know if it's going to be five, two, or ten. But what I do know is, is that you have to keep going. And then, then as you get to that point of recognizing, you know what? Oh, girl, she's a little different. We got a lot of things in common. You know what I mean? I need to see her when she's going through the struggle. I need to see everything about it. Not just because we went out to make McDonald's or we went out to... Oh, you a McDonald's type of dude? Hell yeah. The, wow. On that date one? Y'all hear that? Damn right. You going to make McDonald's. McDonald's type dude. McDonald's. They going to take you to McDonald's. And you getting something off the goddamn dollar, man. You wow. <laughs> so that, that plays into my next conversation, which is about the list. 
Okay. So some of my girlfriends that I've talked to have a yes. list, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. He needs to be gainfully employed. Uh -huh. He needs to have a vehicle. Uh -huh. He needs to have his own place. He can't be living in his mama's basement. Uh -huh. He can't have nine children uh -huh. and and eight, eight, eight babies' mamas. Uh -huh. Do men have a list? For me, I do. I don't know about the other cats. I hope that they do. But for me, I do. I mean... Same thing like with women. You know, you want the guy to have X, Y, Z. I mean, at the stage that we at, um, age, and, you know, you do want the woman to, you know, be about her business. What's on your list? What's on your yeah, list, Mr. Like, J? What's on thing, your list? Same thing like what you just you basically want. mentioned on your list. But, you know, for the guy, it has to be a little bit further than that. Well, I mean, for me, me. Give me some examples of your list. I want to. Tell me a little bit about your list. <laughs> you really want me to give you some give examples? Some I need a drink. <laughs> all right, you gotta drink it all on this one. <laughs> I mean, for me, I'm under. your list look like? Nah, real talk. You know, I'm under. Um, she has to be a righteous woman. You know, but at the end of the, you know, she also has to be a freaky woman. You know, in bed. Um, you know, I'm not into these women who, you know, just want to be pleased all the time. So you know, she has to be pleased. And then gone are the days where, for me, where What's women on has to What's cook. On and all that good stuff. I mean, but we do want a woman who can cook. We want a woman who can play sports as well. I mean, watch sports and all that good stuff. All right. So, can I ask you a question? You said you want a righteous woman. Okay. And so, but you also want her to give up the goodies right away. Otherwise, I say right away. You said right away. Game. I'm talking about the relationship one. That's what you said. Okay, that you ain't <laughs> thinking about Steve Harvey and waiting no three months because you want a righteous woman. Right. So she a thought if she out here giving it up, you gonna move forward. However, this righteous woman who says, "Hey, I'm gonna be celibate until I find my husband." Well, that's one of those next type of women. Mm -hmm. You don't want her. So how you gonna be righteous and fulfill the man's uh, Jay's sexual desires at the same time? How that right, work? So how that work? So, I mean, you know, you got a lot of women out here in the church. Don't get me wrong. I'm in church every Sunday, you know. So, we have a lot of women out here that's righteous, you know. Um, and they don't necessarily give it up early in the game, no. But you ain't waiting no damn nine, um, three months, no 90 days, you know. I don't necessarily say, believe that you have to give it up early. I'm not saying that, no. But what I am saying is, not three months ain't, ain't it for, for me. You know, for okay. me. But that doesn't mean that she's not righteous just because she gave me some top early. You know, she could be righteous. She, but you wouldn't. We could do it at the church. Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> see, you, I don't know where his righteous woman is, y'all. But anyway. <laughs> I'm just joking. Like, anyway, no, I'm just joking. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> um, the next question is yeah. cheating. Uh -huh. Sometimes it seems like men and women see cheating differently. So I'm going to I'm going to make a random maybe a little judgmental remark about men. It appears that men feel like sex is simply sex. Mm -hmm. That they can have a woman at home that they love, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. And I just I just I just smashed this one over here. It didn't mean nothing, babe. I don't Appreciate even it. I don't even love her, man. I, her. I just smashed her right. cuz the draws was there. Okay. Whereas women feel like, oh my God, you devastated me because you broke our trust and you cheated on me. Okay. Now, in the same vein, it appears that, and women for, seem to forgive men more easier for cheating than, than men. Right, 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 right. That when a man's woman cheats, he just done because you gave away something that belonged to me. Okay. What's up with that double standard? Well... All right, I'm only gonna use me for example. Okay. All right, so let me see if we have any comments while you talk. I right, do you think? All right. All right. So to me, cheating is cheating. All right, I get it. But once again, for the man, oh, hold on. I can't listen to the comments from my phone. They won't come on here, so I'm gonna have to wait for comments and after we take a little break. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a little break in a little while. Y'all wanna take it now before the cheating? No, answer the cheating question. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, you didn't hear that? I got distracted. Mm -hmm. I got distracted. Okay. What was the cheating question? Cheat. 
Because they think sex is just sex. Like, I just smashed it. But I'm in a committed relationship. I'm loving this person I'm in a relationship uh -huh. with. And uh -huh. this thing I did over here, uh -huh. it didn't mean nothing. Right. It was just sex. That's, That's all. all. And the female is devastated she because devastated. she feels like you broke a trust uh -huh. because you're supposed to love me and you out here screwing uh -huh. Sally and Joe. Whereas men, if they find out that their woman is cheating, oh, and I have to add that a lot of times women forgive men for cheating. Whereas if a man finds out that his woman is out here and she cheated, he's done. And I think it's because men realize that women have to be emotionally connected. Most women, not all, uh -huh. have to be emotionally connected to someone in order to cheat. Oh, that sounds good. It really do. But that's not the reality of today. The woman has cheating too. Trust me when I tell you. Don't give me that, that, like, the woman is the good girl. Her ass probably, she might not be cheating with a dude. Now, that part might be right, right but what you saying. She might be fucking her girl, you know. That happens. Really? Yeah. So that's just how men feel about women. I ain't saying, oh, but we talking about when it comes to cheating, when it comes to cheating, I think that for the guy, for myself, yeah, it's just it's just getting some hair. It's just getting a piece of you know, it doesn't mean anything. How are you in a whole, mm -hmm. a whole relationship mm -hmm. with a woman? Keep going. A whole relationship, right. and that ain't that ain't, that ain't nothing. What I did with old girl across the street, that she was home. Right. That's all that right. happened. She was home that day. Right. Well, thank God for me. Um, that don't fit the bill because I don't be doing that whole cheating thing. But once again, for the ones, for the guys who is cheating. You see what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, is that, yeah, it doesn't mean nothing to him. Because remember, women are emotional creatures. The man, he ain't. He, he about getting his nut, you know, I mean, and move on. Now, don't get me wrong. He feels sad when he tell his chick, his man, we talking about man, when he to go and he had to go confess, you know, he might feel, you know, bothered because she's hurt, because he hurt her. And then he'll look at it from a different perspective. But a lot of men of today, you know, it ain't it ain't it ain't really cheating. And then you can't even trust your trust your bra. You know? You can't. You don't okay, you said he might feel hurt. Right. He might feel sad when he gotta tell her right. because But she you, ain't gonna tell you. All right, you ain't you don't know she gonna be hurt when you um banging. Oh, girl, or whoever, you don't know, dang, I do got a whole relationship at home. This might hurt that whole relationship. You ain't you thinking about that, that at the time. You ain't thinking about that shit at the time. And, and neither is the chick. While, while you out there doing what you doing, she boo-loving on the phone, setting up something. Uh -huh. You think her little punk ass at work? You think she out with her? Every time they go out with the girls, what that really mean is... We going to smash too. Mm. I remember when you didn't come home. I remember how I felt and da da da. If she got to start thinking about where you at and all that, these women are way smarter. They way smarter than us. They are plotting something. And okay. nowadays they plotting to hook up with the girlfriends. So, <laughs> so the justification for men no. cheating is that they assume that they woman is cheating. I ain't anyway. saying that. I ain't saying that's, that. That's what you just well, said. Well, no, I just well, okay, okay, but no, most men cheat because. Either his chick ain't doing what he needs her to do sexually in bed, you know, or, you know, you know. I mean, women of today, they got all these damn excuses. We got the kids. We got work. We got da 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 I got to do this. I got to do that. Which they do yeah. most of the time because y'all trifling butts ain't doing nothing. That's not true at all. There's some trifling dudes out here. Not all, but, but there's some trifling dudes. Even the ones who's getting great. Um, men in their lives, you know what I mean? They out here, goddamn, having kids by another nigga, another nigga. Okay. So here's the justification: uh -huh. men cheat uh -huh. because they women are not doing what they supposed to do uh -huh. at home. God forbid uh -huh. they try to take care of the house and the children that they don't had with old boy, uh -huh. and make sure he got what he needs and dinner is cooked and the house is the kids. And the so she trying to do all of them things. So he feel like, oh, you ain't giving me enough time. Uh -huh. So I need to go out here and I need to smash Susie because you trying to be a responsible female and hold the house down. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Jack? I'm saying this. I mean, first of all, I like to see her nowadays. You don't see them on too much. No. Well, then you need to probably look a little harder. Hey, well, we've been looking. I ain't seen too much. No, you looking at booty. But you ain't back, looking at no good. Get back to what you said. <laughs> 
<laughs> that booty can't tell you nothing. That booty will be like, I'm a cook. You don't know nowadays if the booty got damn paid for or not. So that's not what's impressive. Uh, for real, for real, for the guy, it's about how good your head is. You know, that's that's what's impressive for us. But getting back to your question, old girl, she can be great at home, you know, but she nine times out of ten is cheating too, Val. I mean, you real assume talk, that. Okay, same thing with y'all. That's y'all justification. Y'all, y'all, y'all we usually know when our men are cheating. Well, we know we y'all stay. Too. Look, it's a lot of females that stay, even though they know that I, there's a side chick or whatever, right. whatever, because they love so and so, or because well, he know, taking care of so and so taking care of me, right. or so and so is right. smashing, right? right. right. Uh-huh. But there, I'm not going to take away from the fact that women and men both cheat. Okay. I'm not going to take away from the fact that there are women out here just like there are men out here that are cheap. Yeah. But there's also a segment of women who are home loving on their man and their man can't figure out how to keep their little thing in their little pants. They can't figure that out. And you. they justify it uh-huh. by just what you said. Uh-huh. Oh, she probably cheating too. Uh-huh. Or, oh, she ain't giving me enough time right. because she taking care of my kids, right. trying to take care of my house. Right. Trying to work full time, so I feel neglected. Uh-huh. Let me go out here and get some of this booty that I see across the street. Now, could that for real? Come on, let's keep it real. There, right. there is that out here. That's out here too. Uh-huh. All right, that is true. But only thing I'm saying is, if you do the ratio, the oh, you want to do stats? Oh, you want to look up shit? Huh? Let me look it up. Because <laughs> y'all ain't honest. It ain't like the whole gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm out here. Let me look it up. And y'all, y'all way clever. Y'all, y'all sneaky. We we don't necessarily know like y'all know. It's not that we sneaky. We just do things better than y'all. Y'all and cheat in this one of them. Okay. And I'm going to admit that because exactly. this is y'all mindset. Y'all going to cheat with Susie that live across the street. And y'all going to cheat with Jim that live in the next city. Exactly. Right. But you're still cheating. But uh, Some women do that. But guess what? Guess what? Y'all do it sloppy. I never. That was if you're going to cheat. Don't cheat with Susie across the street. That's why you, you should be, be cheating honest with, with somebody in the That's next That's why you got to be honest with them. And, and be, before the commitment stage, you feel me? Let them know right off the rip. Yeah, I got you and I got you and I got you too. But, and then no harm, no foul. But both of them is still cheating. Google, who cheats more middle women? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> that bitch ain't fucking. 20% of men cheat compared to 13% of women, according to the U.S. General Social Survey. Well, yeah. Mm, that's what Google said. Forty oh, yeah. percent of men cheat compared to thirteen percent. That's still that damn near even, Stephen. No, it ain't even. Oh, okay, it ain't even. Okay, <laughs> but you didn't expect that ratio to be almost equivalent, and, and that's just the ones that told the truth. You okay. feel me? Google don't know. That bitch don't fuck. Well, you ask Google everything. Why wouldn't Google know that? She don't know that. Trust me. Anyway, <laughs> like, see, that's what that's the thing right there. Most women don't admit. Men get caught. So when they go and they do these little surveys, they asking the couple probably, and the woman is saying, "I wish your ass would lie, motherfucker, because I you remember we we almost went to divorce court because your ass had to confess to me." But the woman, she just sitting over there looking all innocent and quiet, and then a lot of women don't look at it as cheating when they fucking their girl. See, that's the part that we ain't looking at. That's the part that we ain't looking at. Ah. Okay, so. <laughs> I think yeah, we should move on. To move on. I know you're yeah, ready to move on. Because we, we yeah, to men on. and women and on the subject of relationship and cheating uh-huh. and sex seem to have this constant difference of opinion. And maybe that's okay. I don't know why God assigned us to each other sometimes. Because we definitely think differently about it. Well, you got to go back and look at nowadays. Nowadays, it's not just the side of the man and the female. Nowadays, it's the female. How do y'all look at that shit anyway? Come back. Come think about it. When two women is in a relationship, do y'all look at that as cheating when she go out there and smash another bitch? Yeah, that's cheating. That's uh-huh. cheating. Yeah. I don't care who you with besides uh-huh. your partner uh-huh. that you should be committed to. It's cheating. Even even phone conversation is cheating. Ain't going to look too far. Right? Look yeah, too far. yeah. Look too far. Phone, if you are in a committed relationship with someone, mm-hmm. why you feel like you need to engage another person? What? What? I, 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 again, I'm answering from my perspective, right. right? I'm in a relationship with someone, right? Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Somebody that's a friend of mine called me up and goes, yo, I miss seeing you. Come on over and have a couple of drinks with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's chill. Let's chill that's for the friend friend night. Friend. You know, spend the night. Like, right. just chill. You know, it's all good. Right? Oh, you're in a relationship though. I'm, I'm in a relationship. relationship right. right? Okay. And I know that this person has some chemistry uh -huh. with me uh -huh. and wants something more. Uh -huh. So I say, okay. I'm in this relationship with this person, okay. but I'm going to come over and talk to you. We're going to have some wine. Right. We're going to laugh. Reminisce. You know what I'm saying? You might yeah, touch my you. hand, uh -huh. reach out and want to kiss me on right, the right, neck right. for old time. That's cheating. Okay. Because I am committed to this one. Why am I sharing what is supposed to be myself, my right. goods, what's sacred right. with somebody else? Why do I need to entertain that person? Yeah, if I got somebody at home that's meeting all my needs, why do I need to entertain that person even why do i need to be on the phone chopping it up <laughs> yeah because yeah. how i would talk to my girlfriends about mm -hmm. girl what's going on mm -hmm. we might talk about business mm -hmm. we might do a little gossiping we might say let's go out and shop we might come over and have wine that conversation is different with that person of the opposite sex right so if i know it's different mm -hmm. then i cheated Okay. I'm not having the same con and men will be like, well, that's my friend. Mm -hmm. No, but you having conversations with your friend that that's not cheating. can cross over the line. That's not cheating. That's not cheating. What's part of what's the conversation with your friend? That I mean, once again, it all depends on the level of the friend. If it was somebody who you knew before the check who you dating or whatever, then there's boundaries that you don't want to cross, you know. Mm -hmm. But if it's somebody Either way, someone who you met after the chick that you're dating, okay. yeah, if you really in a real platonic relationship, then yeah, you don't want to cross those boundaries. But for me in my life, for me in my life, um, every woman that I dated, the majority of them are still my friends. And we rock out as friends. You know, I can hang out with some of my dearest friends and hang out with them. And we ain't going to never cross that line um, of talking sexual, we ain't sending no pictures or none of that bullshit, you know. And we don't even reminisce about what we might have did back in the day. But that's hypothetically, say if it was a new shawty that you meet, you always just got to think about, you know, what you're trying to do in your personal relationship with that person. And you can still be friends with this newbie. You know, now if the newbie try to disrespect what you have with that person, then that's not up for the newbie to be checked. It's, the dude has to check that because he's not, she's not violating the woman, even though the woman looks at it, but she's really violating you, meaning the man, because you know what I got over here. And if you can't stay in your lane and just be a friend, you feel me? Not friends with benefits, just friends, you know platonic mutual friends you know if you can't be my friend then uh, you know i have to cut that loose you mm -hmm. see what i'm saying so i mean i think i think it just all depends on where you at in your relationship and i do think that men and women can be friends though i do believe that. Mm -hmm. i do believe that. i do think that men and women can be friends right. absolutely right. but i think the content of that friendship okay sometimes those boundary lines can be crossed by male or female I agree. male or female i agree i ain't put it all on the deuce i think that you know when you when you are really stretching boundary I agree. lines so you, let me ask you this then take you back up to what you were saying when you were speaking so you couldn't go over um one of a new friend not old friend somebody that you were dating not that bullshit. if you met somebody new and you was in a relationship you couldn't go over a dude house and just be cool and hang out and pick the nigga brain or, you know. I think that it depends on the content of the friendship. I know there are men that I know that if I go over their house, I know what their intent is because they coming at me like that. Right. I said, I'm in a relationship. They was like, okay, cool. I'm going to respect that. But you coming at me in a different way. To me, that's disrespectful. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go just chill. Why do I need to be over this dude's house mm -hmm. who I know has some intentions right. towards me? Yeah, I agree. We chilling. Yeah. We drinking wine. We mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Oh, you too drunk to drive? Spend a night. And we can just stay in the same bed and cuddle. It's going to be to me that because I don't want to do to other people right, 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 right. what I don't want done to me. And to me, that's crossing boundary lines. And we know that. Yeah, I agree we with you on that. that. I agree with you on that. Don't put yourself in an awkward position, you know. But at the same time, the woman shouldn't have sat there and drank all them goddamn drinks. You know, she should have thought of, you know what I'm That's doing. what she went over there to do. Yeah, but she also went over there to be frisky as fuck. 
You ain't go over there to get drunk. Oh, you, you gotta know your see? limitations. See what I'm saying? <laughs> see what I'm saying? You know, with, with the whole Mike Tyson thing back in the day, you feel me? Oh, God, I know what shit's going on with them. Don't shit. do it. I do. Don't do I did it. it. That's don't, right. I played out there. It. Mike, I don't feel you, Mike. I feel you. No know is no. I don't care what. I agree. No, it's no. That's not what I'm saying. No, I do agree. No, so it's her no. fault that he thirsty and he look. I don't want that. Listen, what Back the example up. that I'm just saying to the example that you gave. If you are over there and you got yourself toe up, you done smoked two bloods, probably took a nine. I don't know what the hell people doing, but whatever you was doing, you should have thought about that shit before you got over there. You know what? Now I'm just going over. Um, Javon House. We're just hanging, you know. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm gonna roll on out. Don't put yourself in an awkward position. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, because then, you know, you want to sit back and regret it come <laughs> tomorrow morning. I don't know, mama, you knew what you was here for, you know? Because as you just said, most men, you know, they feel like they want what they want. So, okay, I think that you're confirming my point, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. I because agree, you going over to the house and mm -hmm. you, you said most men, you know what they want. That's what you said. Right, right. That's what you said. But oh, but I can oh, not you. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm trying to help my boys out. Hey, it's some other niggas. Yeah. But all right. <laughs> all right, Mr. J. Mm -hmm. We got about 10 minutes left, and there's a couple other things I want to hit on before we um go. Before we go. Right. So one of them is sports and the other one is men's health. I think those are two important topics to okay. talk about. Okay. You want to be serious on this one? I do. Okay. We're going to be serious. I want to talk about the fact that a lot of men don't go to the doctors. Now, right. we, we had a lot of fun, but we love our men and we want our men to stay around for a long time. Sure. But a lot of them don't get their health checked out. Right. Now, you know, women, we, we go get our pap smears. We go get our checkups. Go with our breast exams. Not all of us, but a lot of us. But men, a lot of men are being diagnosed with um, cancer, prostate cancer, all type, type of broker. high blood pressure, <laughs> right. yeah, right. diabetes. Because men don't go to the doctors. Why is that? I can only speak for me. You know, um, I just came out the hospital two days ago. You know, and for me, um, I got too many things to do. I'm just busy. You know, we're busy, you know, um, or we learned from our fathers. You know, we didn't see our fathers going to the doctors all the time. We really didn't, you know. They'll go when something was wrong, you know. Um, whereas women, you all are going to the yeah, mothers, you know, mothers, they're training you guys to go to the doctor at least at once a year, you know, if not twice. But most men, we didn't get to see that like talking about. Now, true, you know, we've grown different signs of the times, but our motives haven't changed. You know, go out here, try to take care of our families, you know, try to go out here and get these coins. And, you know, we always look at it as we're the strong ones, you know, and we don't have time. Now, a lot of men of today do tend to go to the doctors a lot more than what it was in the past. You know, they have these jobs, great jobs, great insurance, or whatever the case may be, you know. But I think that that would still be around for another 100 years where we not going up into the um, doctor's office. Same same concept with why you don't see as many men in the church house as you do women, you know. It's just embedded in us. You know what we saw over time you know it's always grind first and rest second shit will goddamn rest when we die mm. that's interesting and i think that when we have an opportunity we should um expand on that subject because you could say that we tired too we grind we we most women are head of households so they either holding down a job taking care of the kids, taking care of the household. Um, and some men are there. When we look at African-American or women of color, mm -hmm. most men are not there. Right. That's a whole conversation within itself, right? right? Yeah. That we tired too, right. but we still got to take care of ourselves because we got we got a house to run. We got kids to take care of. We got right. da 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 da, -da. Right. Um, And I want to have that conversation at another time about brothers, where y'all at? Right. Because, you know, I know for a lot of households of color, there's a lot of different reasons why y'all ain't there. And some of it is our fault. Right. Mm -hmm. 
um, system fault. Somebody system says. fault, a whole lot of things. But the fact of the matter is that we got babies out here mm-hmm. that need the the role model, that need to see what black love looks like, that needs to see good relationships. And so, you know, we've been kicking it and joking about, you know, relationships <laughs> right. and getting the booty and stuff. Right. But at the end of the day, we got to think from a bigger perspective. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And the fact of the matter is that our community is looking at us. How are our young children going to learn what a good relationship looks like if they see mama and daddy cheating on each other? Uh If they see, you know, mama got five kids by five different daddies, daddy got 12 kids by Uh 12 different Uh mamas. Uh We don't know how to talk to each other. We don't know how to respect each other. We don't know how to court each other. We're talking about a, a generation, not just in our houses, but around in our communities. Why are you young men out here feeling fatherless, out here in gangs, you know, out here slinging, right? Because either somebody that they respect is slinging and they think that's what you do, or because ain't nobody there to say, yo, there's another path. So although, you know, we're, we're running down on time, I think that even though we can kid and joke about male and female relationships, that male and female relationship has an impact on our community, what they see and what they don't see. Right, but going back to what you were saying about women and being the head of the households nowadays, so go back to the question of why do men not go to the doctor and women do? So an example that you was given where you were saying that the woman is the head of the household in most situations as far as in the black community, you know, um, the woman, she still didn't forget what she was supposed to do. Mothers always take their kids to get their checkups. Mothers taking them to go to the dentist. Mothers is on top of their game. And then I feel that most women go to the doctors and get their checkups. Why? Because they recognize that, hey, if I ain't taking care of these kids, who's going to take care of them? Whether they be daddy gone. You feel me? That nigga his ass out there fucking something else <laughs> or locked up. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know, the woman, she she never forgot her grassroots of making sure that she is going to take care of herself and her body and make sure that, you know, um, her health is key, her main concern, you know, because she, she, has, to, she has to take care of these kids. You know? Right. And that's not always the case because mm-hmm. if you didn't learn, it's a lot more young women out here having kids, babies having babies and if you didn't know you just think okay in order to get in school they gotta have shots so it's not like we automatically have that innate nurturing in us Mm -hmm. um because a lot of us don't go to the hospital or doctors like Mm -hmm. we're supposed Mm -hmm. to but when you said that men are busy like you know we we are on the grind that's why we ain't doing it what about those men who ain't on the grind ain't really taking care of their kids what's they ain't taking it themselves either. Can't. I don't know about them cats. So I don't know. I really fuck with them niggas, to be honest with you. But um, to answer you, I mean, I, I can't speak for them. You know, I really can't. You know, uh, once again, it's what you saw. You know what I mean? His daddy probably wasn't there. His daddy probably ain't go. Whatever the case may be. You know, I don't know why they're not, to be honest with you. But I do know that um, when it comes to the woman, you know, whether she's in the relationship or she's not in the relationship or whatever case she usually gonna keep herself up you know and make sure she stay on top of her medical conditions and where to the man we don't even think that way mm. i mean i'm a hundred percent fully grown in my situation you know i don't give a damn about that blood pressure until it hit different you know what i mean you know what i mean and then i'll go you know Hell, i ain't i only be trying to take the medicine you know because we think that it's gonna mess with us you know but um i mean i don't have all the answers when it comes to that but i can only speak for myself you know I mean, it's always hustle first rest second always well i have enjoyed you jay yeah, yeah. The he said she said y'all we, y'all something for y'all we're gonna be back with some more he said she said maybe next week she gonna be back i ain't <laughs> that ain't <laughs> true you would, if you want to uh, <laughs> don't believe that. you want to listen to our sister talk with valerie conversation please tap into the link every friday yes, at 7 30 yes, on untap music radio i will post the link on my facebook place yes, right. untap music untap radio music. sister talk which 
Valerie, y'all, your chocolate smoothie. Always maybe, trying to Maybe I should come up with a show. What you think? Let's, let's talk about it. So, <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> thank y'all for your time. Remember, if you have any comments on the subject matters that we talked about today, please feel free to DM me at Valerie Robinson, Mick Callister. We're always open to feedback. If you want to join in on one of our conversations, DM me, Valerie Robinson McAllister. I am your girl, Sister Talk with Valerie, your chocolate smoothie, and this is my boy, Jay. Movie coming soon. Get ready. See y'all. See y'all. <laughs>